Hey everyone, this is Gabcat242. Here's my review on the Marvel Legends Infinite Series, the Scarlet Witch figure for the Mains of Might wave. And I gotta say, this is a figure I'm really happy to get. Um, I bought this at SatCon over the weekend, and this is a much, much improved figure and a much needed character. For those who remember, there was a Toy Biz uh, Marvel Legends of Scarlet Witch, which was not the best figure. And now that this figure has been made, I, that figure is probably obsolete. But I gotta say, is um, this is probably another great female sculpt uh, of her. Um, I do have a couple complaints, but um, I'll get to that in a bit. But let's just take a look at her, and I just gotta say, she's a really great looking female figure. I mean, they really did a good job on the sculpting, especially on the head sculpt. It just really looks good. I really like how this came out. Um, but I'm going to get this right away. So my big issue that I have is her cape. The cape is made out of a really stiff plastic and it hinders articulation, especially in the head and her arms. So you can't really get her arms all the way up. It would have been nice if this would have made of a much softer material or a cloth cape like the, uh, the, uh, the new Storm. Like her, her cape was cloth. That would have been nice if they could do the same thing. But other than that, that's my only gripe. I have this figure. So as you can see here, she has these little accessories on her hands, which simulate a, um, a magic blast. And these you can just easily just unhinge. As you can see here, they're made out of clear, transparent plastic. You could put them on her arms just, just to simulate um, that she's casting her mutant magic powers. And I think that's really cool considering you can have some great display options with her. So I'll just take off the other one, just get a better look at her. So. Yeah, I'm really liking the sculpt. So um, I actually like the fact that they did not include her in, in the pink leotard is usually um, the pick. Actually, I'm going to compare her to my Marvel Universe, my 3-inch figure. So as you can see here, they had her in, in the entire pink leotard and her um, her head um, headband thing, thing she's wearing was a little bit bigger. That was kind of a more smaller design. But of that, I mean... I like what they did with this. Um, I'm glad we got a new sculpt as opposed to just having a larger scale of this. Like this figure just looks just looks sexy in my opinion. But, so just take a look at her in the back. I mean the cape size is sculpted. It's just really stiff, which is big, kind of an issue for me. Uh, so one thing I'm glad about is um, I got a figure that's pretty nice shape. There's no paint slop on mine. Um, joints feel pretty okay. But as I said before, um, the head is a little bit hindered because of the cape, so she's not going to be able to look up or down. Uh, she's got a really nice side-to-side um, -side crunch and a pretty decent ab crunch. Uh, ball joint in the shoulders, again, like I mentioned, is going to be hindered because of the cape. Uh, no bicep silver, but there's a nice um, elbow joint. Uh, we've got a wrist articulation and a nice hinge in the wrist, so that's awesome they included that. Uh, ball joints in the legs, uh, thigh swivel, double joints in the knees, and a really good ankle pivot with rockers. Um, don't understand why they gave her high heels, but then again, they always do it with all their female characters. I would have much preferred boots, but hey, that's just me. So, uh, these figures are probably now starting to hit stores now. I bought mine at a convention, and amazingly, I did not pay scalper prices, so I got her at retail. So um, if you're looking to collect your Avengers um, lineup or just you just like collecting really nice looking female figures, this is a must get and I recommend picking her up.